my gosh, the, ba the battery's flashing already. Like, I should have known. I should have known. Okay, the battery's been changed. <laughs> We're gonna try again. I don't, I just wouldn't be surprised if it happens again, but we'll deal with that as and when it happens. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is a very impromptu video. I didn't plan to film this literally in the slightest. I just sat down because I'm about to do my makeup and was like, why don't I film this? So here we are, I'm actually filming this before like my first video back on my channel. But yeah, we're just gonna get straight into it. I'm just gonna pretend like that video's, you know, already done, whatever. I'm basically about to get ready to go out, so I just thought that I would film it for you. Uh, I look a little bit worse away. I look like I've been hit by a bus, but just pretend I don't. Okay, cool. I'm going out, so that's fun. I think I've got a little diffuser situ going on in the background. I might, I'm gonna turn it off just in case you can hear because it makes like a like a trickly water noise which i really like i think it's really relaxing um but i don't want it to be really annoying in the background of the video so i'm just gonna turn it off for now i'm gonna show you the makeup that i'm using as i'm going along this is new actually i bought this for christmas it's the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless foundation i think this is the first thing makeup thing i've ever had from charlotte tilbury maybe not actually i don't know word of warning this is very yellow toned like i'll put it on and you're gonna see where i'm coming from straight away which i like i, I really hate like the opposite when a foundation is really like pink toned i really don't like that yeah when i got color matched by the girl in charlotte tilbury obviously i said can you match my neck not my face because i well, if i was wearing this foundation i'd only wear it when i fake tanned which i did last night at like 11 30 because i forgot <laughs> but yeah i just didn't appreciate how yellow toned it was until i got home basically you're gonna see me look like a simpson for a few minutes just ignore it it's the definition of trust the process. Like I promise you, once I've done concealer, bronzer, all that jazz, we're not yellow anymore. But you might not even, can you tell? I don't know. I've got a mirror in front of me by the way, so I'm gonna be looking that way for a lot of the video. It's currently 10 past 11. I have got a fun day planned today actually. I'm going to London for the day, which is exciting. It's for one of my friend's birthdays. She's 21. Yeah, it should be a really fun day. We're going to, we're going for brunch first um, at a place called 14 hills which is on Fenchurch street if you've you might have seen it on like instagram tiktok i look a bit crazy don't i right when i warned you that i was gonna look like a simpson this is the point that i was talking about i promise it gets better from here on in like it this is the most yellow we will be it will get better so just trust the process but as i was saying um yeah i'm going to london today and then i think after that we're gonna go to piano works i don't think she's booked a table yeah i don't know TBC. I'm pretty sure that's where the plan is of where we're gonna go. I don't really know if a lot of people like get ready of me's. I think they're quite nice to watch while you're getting ready. In this video, I thought I could have a bit of a general chit chat. I don't know, like catch up life stuff, I guess. And then also, I thought it would be quite fun. I wanted to talk about like um, my like goals for the year, like plans for the year, just all things 2022 because I really like hearing other people's like goals and like what they're planning on doing and. And things like that i literally love a new year like i am that person i just love like a fresh start i don't know it's just obviously like you can literally start anything at any point you don't need to wait for a new year or a new or like monday or a new month or whatever like literally every day is a fresh start anyway but there's just something about the new year i just love it i literally can't help myself i just love it so i have to set goals i know some people are not really into like i'm not really into new year's resolutions as such because i feel like they're a bit restrictive and i feel like they just never really last but just general like overarching goals for the year things i want to do things i want to do more of things i want to do less of things general like habits stuff like that i feel like a new year's a great time to do it Okay, I'm back. As you can see, I've had an outfit change. <laughs> Dear, honestly, it's 20 past 11. It's 26 minutes past. I'm acting like I've got loads of time and I haven't. Well, I have, mm, no. So, sorry, I've done, just put concealer on. As you can see, I'm no longer looking like a Simpson. I hope not. I hope you don't think that. I don't think I am. The reason for the outfit change is because my dad and stepmom have been out this morning. And basically, long story short, I've been stealing my dad's dressing gown. Not the one I was wearing earlier, but it's literally like the softest coziest dressing gown that's ever took existed and obviously it's like five sizes too big for me and it was just so cozy and i was really here for it i don't really think he wears it to be honest because my dad knew how much i was loving wearing it and so they've got me my own it's from john lewis if you're ever looking for the softest nicest dressing gown you'll ever have in your life john lewis is the place to be his was obviously from the men's section this is I assume the women's but um i'm obsessed i'm so happy how cute is that they just brought that home for me literally the best present ever i'm worried my makeup's gonna look really bad because i don't i'm not very good at multitasking like talking and doing makeup and i'm not 
used to doing it sat here i normally do it in the bathroom so but what was he saying so i wrote down like a few things i wrote down goals i wrote down stuff that i want to like physically want to go do and i also wrote down a couple like mindsets sounds a little bit weird but like just mindsets i want to adopt and try and be more like do you know what i mean should i just go through them all is that fun or is that boring i don't know the thing is though some of these i'm not going to want to say hmm interesting okay we're gonna have to skip the first one because i don't know if i want to say that second one i have got a savings goal i don't really want to say the number either this is going really well should i do eyebrows let's do brows oh i don't like doing this on camera i feel pressure like i feel like it's not going to look as nice then i use the benefit precisely my brow pencil and i do it very lightly the, the part i do the most is like under this underneath bit of my brow brows are done well, this is on its last legs like i literally can't screw it up anymore so got to use my finger anyway yeah so first one is a savings goal i always have a savings goal every year i think it's really good to like even if you look at the number and you're like how am i going to do that but i think it's good because sometimes it pushes you and i feel like it's just good to put out there that like this is what i want and then just watch how things unfold because from my experience i've always found that it ends up in a weird way kind of happening that's just from my experience so yeah obviously don't go too unrealistic um my second one is kind of to do with that as well actually and that is to invest my savings i don't mind how i don't mind where but i just want to invest um i actually do kind of enjoy stuff like that i find it quite interesting that's probably an unpopular opinion but there you go like i said some of these i don't they're quite personal to me so i don't really want to say like i've got one on here which i don't mind saying at some point i just don't want to say it till it's done what else have i got so i've got to try a new hobby because obviously i've not done youtube for over a year now and i've not had a hobby in that time and so i thought it would be good for me to try something new i was kind of thinking running which sounds really weird but i just feel like running is really therapeutic i just feel like i would like to try a new hobby even if i don't stick it like i just want to have try something new and maybe push myself outside my comfort zone a little bit reading is such a big one for me i i actually do really enjoy reading i just i feel like i struggle with my concentration a little bit at times so yeah it takes me a while to get through a book basically i have a lot of books like i love my book collection is my favorite thing ever so yeah i love buying books and i love getting like given books for bad days and stuff the one i'm reading at the minute is by uh stacy solomon actually i love stacy solomon it, mrs hinch as well her stories make my day i'm not even joking i'm not her cleaning ones like i'm not that fussed about that but like her just general life ones like i just love seeing her house and her alpacas it's so cute i'm obsessed i would like to read more i've said seven books for this year which i think is fairly doable because i always go through phases sometimes i will read a lot like i found like at the back end of last year i didn't really read much but yeah my goal last year was five books and i don't actually know how many i did but i know i did more than five i probably did about seven actually um so yeah i want to read seven books i do really enjoy reading it's just you've got to make the time for it which actually kind of brings me on to another goal or there's like a couple goals in one my friend's never made that noise before i've put maintain healthy habits including exercise i didn't want to put the whole generic like work out three times a week or go gym or get my dream body or what like no that's not for me thank you very much i just feel like they're quite negative that they just never end up happening do they so i'm trying to just maintain healthier habits in every day and just like looking after myself a little bit more and i'll give it to myself i think i've been doing a pretty good job like compared to what i was doing like i feel like i've done a pretty good job i actually downloaded an app i basically just wanted something that i could track everything on um so i found an app called habit um i've got like a little widget for it on my home screen i've not put anything in it yet today but basically you can put whatever like goals that you have in there and then like with every day you can take them off basically so some days i've got quite a lot of goals some days i just have the standard like five that i have and this kind of linked into i've seen like a lot of people doing the 75 hard challenge also i'm going to try these they're the iconic london illuminator drops i've got it in one of my beauty advent calendars and i really want to try them so will i regret this potentially but i really like iconic so i feel like i won't i need a brush do i use like a stippling brush yeah that could be cute so yeah i've seen a lot of people I don't really know what I'm doing. Do I drop them? Like, is that too much? Oh, <gasps> can you even see? Can you see the glow? I don't know. I was worried then. That looked really pink at first. I just wanted a bit of a glow. I'm still gonna put highlighter on, but I just wanted a bit of something underneath. You know. I've seen a lot of people do the 75 hard challenge, which is not for me. I'm sorry. Doing if you, basically if you don't know what it is, it's it's basically just a fitness challenge, and one like the main thing is that you have to do two workouts a day both 45 minutes each and one of them needs to be outside that's a bit much for me if we're going to be realistic that's not going to happen so i kind of done 75 hard 
but I've made up my own version that's a little bit easier. So we're calling it 75 Soft Amy Edition. Like one of them's like drink a gallon of water a day. I don't know how much a gallon is, but that sounds like a lot. Um, so one of my goals is to drink three liters of water a day, which I've been doing really good at. I'm really impressed with myself. And it like literally just having the app and having to input every time I drink water, it just encourages me to keep doing it. So yeah, I've got to get eight hours sleep, do a 30 minute workout or a walk. I don't mind which read 10 pages of a book to close all the rings on my apple watch and like honestly if you can see at the top like most days i don't complete all of it and i honestly feel like i've nailed the balance because before like and at the start i was like oh my god like i'm not i was like freaking out that i weren't completing all of them but when you think about it like before christmas i was doing none of those things probably Maybe i was probably sleeping eight hours a day but apart from that i weren't doing any of those things and so when you think about it I really live by the philosophy of just trying to make each day 1% better than the last. In 100 days, that's 100% better. Like, you can't really go wrong. So considering I weren't working out or doing anything, the fact that I'm just going on one walk and reading some of my book is so much better than what I was doing. Or, like, whatever. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not hard, like, hard on myself on it at all. Um, I just try and do as many of them in the day as I can. Like, I think it's just about getting the balance. I really need to hurry up and stop talking, don't I? Uh, the reason I got that one is because you can add the widget to your home screen, which I really liked. And it also has the same on, like, you can get the app on your Apple Watch. So that was why I went for that one. It's free. Um, so, yeah, if you're looking for anything like that to track your, your habits, then obviously you could kind of, like, yeah, use the ones that I've done. I'll show you properly what it looks like. So, yeah, back to my goal. That was one of them, just to have slightly healthier habits and that is how i'm tracking that at the minute i've also actually i do enjoy working out but i i don't enjoy the process of like when i wake up i don't want to get up and choose like a workout that i'm going to do or like find a video or sorry did i just have a massive hair brush hair on my face for ages i really like chrissy cella like i love watching her stuff and i also love grace beverly as well i really like their content so i decided to download the toner sculpt app you get like a 14 day free trial um so I've got that and I've done three workouts on it. I've had it nearly a week and I have really been enjoying it. I think I, I might keep it. I don't know. I'm going to see how I feel at the end of the two weeks. I've also got, um, which is a bit of a weird one and I'm not really sure how I'm going to measure it as such, but I put to actively make this year a good one. And the key word is actively is in like be proactive and make sure this year is good and always just stop and reflect and be like, could I be doing more? Like, am I, is my balance off? Like, do you know what I mean? Just making sure it's a good year. And then my final one, um, and this is probably the most important one, and that is to just have fun. That is literally what I want this year to be. I just want to have fun. I just want to have a good year, have a great time. Dad's going to pick you up. No, Dad's at some ungodly hour. Yeah, he's at some ungodly hour. I'm not gonna lie, I really need to hurry up because I still haven't chosen an outfit and I need to sort my hair out. Right, I'm gonna give myself 10 minutes and then I need to be done with makeup. Honestly, will there ever be a day that there is a better highlighter than Becca Champagne Pop? I think not. It's actually unmatched. I've got a brush hair on my nose. So yeah, there are a few ideas of some goals and bits. Um, I actually, like sometimes I just add goals. Sorry, this brush hair. Yeah, a lot of the time like I add goals throughout the year um and just literally go with the flow like i don't think it's about you have to start on the first of january i think you can just start whenever i'm gonna use this palette which i got for christmas it's the Too faced born this way the natural nudes and when i tell you it's to die for i'm gonna use this color as well like this glittery white in my inner corner and on my brow bone. Things to do in 2022. I wanna go on a couple holidays if I can. Trying to do this and talk at the same time is just not happening. Yeah, what else is on my list? Oh, one thing is I need to make the most of the fact that I work in London. Why do I not make the most of it? I do not know. I just wanna get out a little bit more, go out after work, like just literally make the most of the fact that I'm already in London for work anyway, so I might as well go out there. Honestly, my whole energy is just to have fun. Have a great time. I've put this on my mindset things of like mindsets want to change. I've said to say yes more to more things, which I'm definitely trying to do. Always ask yourself, like when you're in a situation, it could be if you're making a decision, you're not sure what to do, or just generally like in everyday life, ask yourself, what would the best version of myself do? Like if you think of your higher self, like the best version that you could possibly be, what would she do? And then whatever your answer to that is, go and do that exact thing. So that I want to try and do more. Um, another one is just have a and what mentality, like and what something's bad happened like and what you're embarrassed and what well, that's a good one saw that on tiktok just all the positivity all the good things you know what i mean we're here for it i'm actually severely concerned for how long it's going to take me to choose an outfit i'm going to finish off my eyes and then i'll be back whoa okay my eyes look really dark 
I was not prepared for that. I was really not prepared for that. Um, we're nearly done. I just want to pop some like bronze, actual powder bronzer and blush on just so it sets. I'm not really, I'm not really a fan of doing my makeup. I've got quite a few concerns right now. I think on what trousers I want to wear. They're these like nude Zara ones. I'll show you before I leave actually. However, the bodysuit I think I want to wear with them, which is a black bodysuit. I feel like you're going to be able to see it through and it's going to look like I have really big black underwear on because it's not a not a thong bodysuit. So that's my first dilemma. I don't really know what I could wear a white one but I, I just feel like black's more of a vibe. Second concern is I need to try and figure out how to do my hair. I was thinking the bodysuit and the trousers with heels could look quite cool with a low curly ponytail but I don't know. We'll decide that as well. And then my last concern is I'm literally starving even though I've had breakfast so I think we're going to have something before I go because we're not eating till three. And we have leftover dominoes from last night so that seems like a good shout right now i'm gonna finish this off go and choose my outfit and then come back to you once i'm a little bit more sorted and i'm probably gonna eat something and she is ready am i late very much so did maya text me over like 40 minutes ago saying have you left yet yep she did this is the outfit it's literally a black zara bodysuit these zara trousers which i'm obsessed with they do need to be taken up but we're just gonna have to embrace them these shoes which are kind of like the is it Valentino? Are they meant to be like Valentino? I think so. And my camera battery died. Of course it did. This is the finished makeup. I'm gonna powder in the car. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm hungry. I'm ready to go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too boring or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I actually enjoyed filming it. Sometimes it's good to just do things off the cuff that aren't planned. Let me know what um, kind of New Year's resolutions or goals or like things you want to just achieve this year. Otherwise, I love you all loads and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.